So here we are going to discuss public utility factor that is your 1 plus cos theta how it is proportional to the effect at a particular point in shortly. Okay. So here you can see that suppose we intend to find out the effect or intensity at this point at this point due to this first half period zone and intensity at point P due to this first half period zone and what will be the intensity at point T due to the first half period zone. See this is your first half period zone and this is your second half period zone, this is your third half period zone, this is your fourth like this. So due to first half period zone what will be the effect at O first we have to calculate. Here obliquity factor is nothing but 1 plus cos theta. So we intend to find out the intensity or effect at O. So when the light passed through the first half period zone, it moves straight to the O. Okay. So here theta will be how much theta will be equal to 0. Theta will be equal to 0. So theta will be 0 means cos theta will be how much? 1. So obliquity factor we found equal to equal to how much? 2. So effect or the so-called intensity will be maximum along CO path, along CO path. Now consider a arbitrary point P on the screen and we intend to find out the effect at point P due to the first half period zone. So from the first half period zone, if we want to move towards the point P, then we have to create some angle from uh, the horizontal direction. From the horizontal direction, we have to put we have to create some angle theta. So here theta is the angle we have to create from the horizontal then we can reach at the point P. Okay. So if this theta will be 45 degrees suppose if this theta will be 45 degree then 1 plus cos theta 1 plus cos 45 cos 45 that will be 1 plus cos 45 1 by root 2. So this will 1.1 by root 2 is around 0.7. So it will be 1.7. So initially it was for, for obliquity factor for at the point O due to the first half period zone we found how much 2 but for, at point P due to first half period zone it is reduced 1 1.7 from 2 from 2 it is reduced 1.7 so here obliquity factor is reduced whenever we are going to move away from the horizontal now we are going to consider another point T uh, from the horizontal let we have to move the angle pi by 2. So from the first half period zone if so, if light will be uh, travel to T it let it has to create pi by 2 angle with the horizontal. So if pi by 2 here you can see pi by 2 means cos pi by 2 will be 0 so obliquity factor will be 1. So here obliquity factor how much is reduced continuously whenever we are going to go away from the horizontal. Okay. So here obliquity factor decreases. So hence intensity at the point T due to first half period zone is going to be reduced. Okay. So here we found that as obliquity factor decreases then the intensity at the arbitrary point is going to be decreased. So if we have to move from horizontal to this way on the screen then the obliquity factor this one is decreases due to which the intensity that on at that particular points is going to be decreases okay intensity also decreases so